My name is Gregory Voido, and this is my third production with the Atlanta Opera. I did Romeo and Juliet and um, Cenerentola two years ago with Jenny Larmore, and I'm happy to be back for a uh, third time, especially with this opera, because my mom, who is a singer, she, she used to sing Mimi's role a lot, so I literally grew up at the Budapest Opera in Hungary, listening to this uh, with my dad sitting next to me and, you know, he was always crying in Act 4 when, when Mimi died. So this is, you know, kind of like a family affair to me and, and, uh, and kind of like a homecoming and finally I get to conduct this wonderful piece. It is a very, uh, very unique cast, if I may say so. I mean, this piece is about, about uh, this opera is about young people college age people and and to do this piece with as close to the age group as it is about uh, it just gives it an extra extra something on the top you know you you can really picture a young and and uh, and uh, beautiful woman for Mimi for example or somebody for Musetta who can really uh, really just you know just turn the heads on stage uh, Jen Cornelius definitely does <laughs> turn the heads, and and uh, I think especially with an opera like this that's done so much uh, in so many different ways, to do it with a cast that you could actually just shoot a movie off uh, of of the same opera, it's it's just some, something very special, and I, I I feel privileged to be part of this. They're young, they're responsive, they're they're just great, smart, wonderful people, so they go for it in opera. And that's why it's exciting. Uh, anything can happen, happen any time, and you gotta be able to correct. You gotta be able to slow down the orchestra. That's why it's important. Uh, then, I'm conducting this this ensemble for the third time here, the the Atlanta Opera Orchestra. Uh, they're a great group, and and they're very responsive. If you're an audience member, you know I want you to cry at the end of Act Four when Mimi dies. Yes, yes, I want you to have real feelings. That's what the whole thing is about. And I want you to laugh when it's funny, and I want to make it happen in a way that it's clear when it's funny, and it's clear when it's it's tragedy. And this is a great piece that is a mix of of tragedy and comedy. It's just so perfectly timed, so perfectly written that then it just takes you by hand and just leads you through this whole story uh, of young people about love and 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 loving life and and living life and Christmas in Paris. What else do you need? You know, I want it to happen. It, the only thing that is my ambition in in performing arts is that this is a live thing. You must be there and experience it there. You must just get into the, the, the whole spirit of it, of, of the house, of the stage, of the singers, of the orchestra. And and all of the orchestra, uh, the audience members that are, are coming, they're coming because of that. Because it's once in a lifetime opportunity Nowhere else you can experience this. This is the only place where music and drama and stage uh, comes together in a way and it tells you a story uh, only in the opera.